If you ever just get sick of the day to day, you want to escape off solo into the woods with your canoe named Patches, finding a nice place to camp on a lake you've never been before, fishing along the way and eating some delicious food when you get there? Yeah, me too. Like, all the time. That was refreshing. Look at this guy. Head of the game. Sorry, changing colors. I must say, I'm quite excited for fall. Oh, yeah. Big guy. You want to spit that out for me, buddy? It's got to be one of my bigger basses. <laughs> Decent. He's gone. This portage is a beautiful little dock. That's great. Hey, buddy! Be free! My lure's getting ruined. I like this one, but it's getting destroyed. <laughs> Be free! I like this little guy. See how these hooks are right up against the body it means it's weedless and it's a top water lure so it stays on top of the water so fish tack it from below and I can throw it into the weeds without it getting all uh, caught great little dude and it's cute I was just about to say this looks like prime bass fishing right in here Decent. Later. Bass fishing is so much fun. The way they strike, quite a fun and exhilarating way to fish. Oh, all right, 9.5 kilometers, not bad. So if you guys didn't recognize my new tent from the last video, my new tent is the Z-Pax Duplex tent. I reached out to Z-Pax a couple months ago. Shout out to Matt over there for sending one out. I'm loving it already. Still getting used to it a little bit. It's kind of a different style of tent. It's made of Cuban fiber or Dyneema. It's a single wall tent and it's the lightest, if not one of the lightest tents on the market. You're supposed to set it up with trekking poles that you'd use when you're backpacking. Here I'm using these regular poles that you can purchase separately. I also own the freestanding kit, which is what I used last time. Using that kit allows you to not have to stake it out. And it would have been better for me to bring the freestanding kit in this situation considering I'm on bedrock. But you can see here I'm guying out the tent and keeping it erect using these rocks and some paracord. Still getting used to it. There's a lot to uh, figure out with this tent. It's really unique design. Loving it already and that weight saving is going to be a benefit in the long run. So more in depth review in the future once I get some more nights in this thing.
So tonight we got homemade burgers. I prepped these last night and I just wanted to do them last night so I can throw them in the freezer so they had a better chance of making it out here in this heat. We're just gonna fill our Tum Tums with these yummy yum burgers because I'm a hungry boy. I'm pretty pumped, pretty pumped. I'm actually super happy that I prepped these at home because handling ground beef right now is not really my, I mean, I could do it. I just kind of just want to eat at this point. Enough talk, let's eat. Get these burgerinos on. They smell like amazing. I totally forgot I had bacon, so we're gonna cook that first. Lettuce, tomato, onions, bacon, cheese, Tabasco, artichoke and asiago, buns. Burgers are done. Those look ready. Artichoke sauce. Put that on there. Boom. Tabasco. Maybe we should put the lettuce on the bottom there too. Some bacon. Tomato, onions. I like onions, so don't judge me. Those look phenomenal. Oh my God, look at that. That looks so good. Mmm. Pretty dang good. Such a pretty evening. Oh. Yeah, this spot is less scenic, but I need a back support to help me finish the second burger. So here's a good plan. I'm gonna do half my videos are gonna be like my last one, like forging, catch and cook style challenges. And then the other half will be go out into the woods and stuff my face with as much food as possible. I'll probably lose weight on my catch and cooks and then I'll just make up for it on the other half of the videos. I'm a genius. Oh. Yeah, sure beats fish head soup. Wow, that was good. I think two burgers was just right. Three would have been like way too much. Life is good. Seven. Seven bass. All right. <laughs> Eight. 
That was quite the show. It's gotta be one of my bigger basses. It's a big dude. Here's this measuring tape. Let's do this quick. Uh, about 16 inches. <laughs> Keep losing count. Nine? Nine now? Nine's pretty good. I'm happy with nine. Sun's gone, sun's set, so not much to do now than uh, journal, read, go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Some people probably really don't like Tabasco, but that's okay, I love it. So good. Nice, cool. Later, dude. 10. Other little guy. Twelve. One more and we have a lucky number. <laughs> hey, Mr. Beaver. <laughs> Thirteen, baby. Even though I still have a lot of paddling left for the day, I'm gonna end this video here. Quick little one-nighter out in the woods. And I say it all the time, but a one-nighter is always better than a no-nighter, so I'm super happy to have even gotten out. Cooked some delicious burgers, caught some fish, had a great campsite. Hey, can't complain. <laughs> this is an awesome trip. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.